Welcome back to some third data structure design. Hmm. Today let's work on some system design. Just kidding. This is nowhere close to system design. Okay. So this time it's a easy question. I picked an easy question, so it should be done in under fifteen minutes. Let's get started. So design and implement a two sum class is to support the following operations: add and find. Okay, so add is adding the number to an internal data structure, and find is to find if there is an existing, uh, if it, there exists any pair of numbers which sum is equal to the value. So we have add one, two, uh, add one, three, five, and then find four, which is true because one plus three is equal to four, and then we have seven, which is false because we can't find any. Uh, Addition of numbers among these three that is equal to seven. Um, so at three, one, two, and if we want to find three, which is true because one plus two is three, and we want to find six is false because there's no two number whose sum, excuse me, whose sum is six. So that's a very easy question. If you've been following my videos, I did a two sum video before, and the method I think, uh, which the method is what I'm going to apply here. So I can see why it's easy because this is just like a small extension of two sum. So, like the previous question, like to sum we had a linked list so whenever we create a class we'll, uh, in, we'll instantiate a list so say list integer list and then we'll instantiate the list here so list <coughs> is equal to new linked well oh, sorry linked list integer okay so and then add we'll just add the we'll just add the number to this list okay so we'll have list dot add number now the tricky part is fine so uh, like we did in two sum, we create uh, it's kind of we we create a, a set, right? We create a set, and then when we traverse through this list, we subtract the current integer with the value with the target value, and then try to find if the difference the difference of the target value and the current integer exists in the numbers that we have traversed then it's a match so here we'll have a set which is an integer and we'll just call it set we'll do new has set integer okay so now we'll iterate through this list so i less than list dot size and then I plus plus okay so for the current we'll keep track of the current number which is uh, list dot get at the current position and then we will have diff is equal to diff is equal to uh, value minus curt and so if if set contains this diff right that means we have found a match so if set contains diff then which means we'll return true because we have found a set or we have found a pair the the pair the pair of numbers we want now if it doesn't then we what we do is we will add the uh, diff. Uh, I'll add the current number 
to the set. Okay, and then after the iteration, if we after we have iterated the whole list, if we haven't found any result, of course, we'll return false in this case. Cool. So let's go through this. So it's very it's straightforward. Add it's just adding number. Now the trick is here to find. So we have create whenever we need to find a value. Just checking time. So whenever we need to find a a, a value, uh, whenever we need to find out if we have a pair that meets the value, we'll we create the set, and then going th and, and then we'll go through the list. So for every for for the current number, we will we'll subtract it with va the value and see if if the difference is already contained in the numbers we have iterated through. So to keep track of the numbers we have iterated through, we use set to keep track of this. And then if it doesn't contain, well, if it does contain, we return true, which is obvious. And if it doesn't contain, we'll add the current number to the set so that later, for, for, for later use, right? So, so for later, if we see a number If we see a number, we can find if we have already traversed this current number. Now, okay, so custom test cases. Uh, let me see, I have time, eight minutes. Let's just run through the code first. But I feel like this should work. One, two, I mean, if we do a three, two, one. Okay, we'll just do this. So one, uh, so add one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, four, five, seven. So true, false. Expected answer is true, false. Okay. So some sounds about right. Let's do this. What the fuck? Time limit exceeded. Let me try again. So it, that's because the list is too long. I mean, we still have to iterate through the whole list, and I don't see why we'll have to traverse it. Add, 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 add. We'll have so many and then try to find. Uh, I do see the problem. Well, yes, well, yeah, that's the problem. So, yeah, so, so it looks like for every find, it takes us it takes a linear time to go through the it takes us linear time to go through the list so if I have n find and I have a n square the time complexity will be n square so I, I think this is why it's complaining so can we reduce this can we reduce this to constant So, if we wanna, <clears throat> so if we want to find the numbers that we have iterated through, can we save it in? Can we save them in the map, and then using map, using the key, using the Well, actually, I think it should be a array list. That's why it's complaining. Um, array list. Okay, so this time should be good because oh, I shouldn't be a linked list. Array list would be so much faster. Oh, accept it. Wow. Okay. 
um, that was unexpected. I didn't know how to solve this problem so fast. Um, <clears throat> okay, I solved it in 10 minutes. So, well, yes, lesson learned from this because I haven't worked on a race list or uh, link this for a while at job. Um, it's kind of interesting that what Lee code is doing here is totally irrelevant to people's, I mean, software engineer's daily job. I, I rarely use this. Um, so that I've, I kind of forgot about it. So array list, yes. So array list, instant access to random nodes. And that's why you need to convert it to array list. And uh, so that whenever you access the node one by one, uh, you will get instant, uh, so instant time. Um, anyways, I think this is a very simple question. If you're still in college, this should be very straightforward uh, for you to understand. And for people who be in an industry for more than two years, I kind of, I'm kind of getting rusty on this. Jesus. Okay. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.